a person buys some articles he sold 40% of articles at 20% profit and remaining at 331 percentage 3 profit you know this is unclear what exactly you mean here if percent profit is calculated on selling price then what is the ratio of selling price of articles sold at 20% profit to the article sold at now again 33 percentage 3 profit what are you trying to say this value is not clear this value is not clear so i request lakshman and everybody else when you post questions in the forum please check it once i can straight away say the question cannot be solved because values are not known to us but now i am going with an assumption let me take the value as uh, let let me consider the value as 33.33 percentage i am assuming this is 33.33 percentage like 33 1 by 3 percentage basically similarly this is also 33 1 by 3 percentage so now with this assumption let's try the solution so person buys some articles he sold 40% of the articles at 20% profit and remaining at 33 1 by 3 percentage profit if person profit is calculated on selling price then what is the ratio of selling price of articles sold at 20% profit to the articles sold at 33 1 by 3 percentage profit lakshman you have posted the question again in the chat i can see but read the question you are saying 20% profit and remaining at 331 percentage 3 profit okay so let's let's solve this now how do we solve it see a person has bought some articles he sold 40% of the articles at 20% profit and remaining at 33 1 by 3 percentage profit so let us assume the person has bought see the total cost price is how much he has bought 100 articles let's assume and the price is 100 rupees the total cost price is 100 times 100 yes or no he has bought 100 articles at 100 rupees each 100 articles at 100 rupees each he sold now this 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 set of 100 into 100 i mean 100 articles at 100 rupees each have been sold into two parts right in one set he has sold 40% of the articles 40% of the articles 40% of 100 is 40 right he sold 40 articles at 20% profit at 20% profit right so i can say if the cost price is 100 profit and and profit is 20% the selling price should be 120 but that's not the case here because if you see he says the percentage profit is calculated on selling price the percentage profit is calculated on selling price and not the not on the cost price right usually you know that percentage profit by default percentage profit is always calculated on cost price so if the percentage profit is calculated on cost price then you can say 14 to 120 here then we can say 14 to 120 because cost price we have assumed is 100 20 percent profit will make it 120 but we cannot take the cost uh, selling prices 120 in this case and of course if 40 percent articles were sold at uh, 20 percent profit then he says remaining remaining is what 60 percentage remaining is 60 percentage 60 percentage of 100 will be 60 yes or no so remaining 60 articles we are sold at 33 1 by 3 percentage profit again 33 1 by 3 or 33.33 is not uh, 133.33 cost price 100 selling price will be 133.33 no it will not be that there will be new selling price there will be new selling price so so you have to be careful about how to find out the selling price there, right now how do you get the selling price see understand it's it's simple the cost price of each article is 100 right profit is equal to 20 percentage 20 percentage of what selling price usually it is 20 percent of cost price this time it's 20 percent of selling price now you know that selling price is equal to cost price plus profit yes or no so i can say selling price is equal to 20 percent this is selling 20 percent of selling price which is 0 0.2 20 percent is 0 0.2 right 0 0.2 s selling price plus cost price is 100 profit is how much 0 0.2 s so selling price equals to 100 plus 0 0.2 s or s minus 0 0.2 s 0 0.8 s equals to 100 s comes out to be what 125 You're getting it now, now if you try to understand if the profit is 20 percentage we say 120 percentage is cost 120 percentage selling price so 120 percentage is equal to what is we usually calculate but in this case since it is on selling price you have to reverse it you have to reverse it meaning 100 minus 20 percentage 80 percentage 80 percentage is equal to cost price cost price is 80 percentage of selling price 100 right 80 percentage is 100 s equals to what so selling price in the first case is 125 so this is 125 how do you get the selling price in the second case same process i mean don't go by the number of steps i'm just trying to explain it in detail cost price is 100 profit is 33.33 profit is one third of selling price yes or no so again we can say s equals to 100 plus s by 3 
So we get 2s by 3 equals to 100, s equals to 150. So profit in the uh, selling price in the second case is 150. You can observe also if you see if the selling price is 125, what is 20% of 125? 20% of 125 is 25 rupees. See the profit is 25 rupees. 100 plus 25. What is 33.33% of 150? It is 50 rupees. In the second case, the profit is 33.33, right? 33.33 of what? 150. 33.33 of 150 is 50 rupees. And yes, the profit is actually 50 rupees. 100 rupees plus 50 rupees extra. Here the profit is 25 rupees. 100 rupees, 25 rupees extra. So the, the problem here in this question is only about finding out the selling price. The challenge is finding out the selling price properly. If, the, if this statement is not given, let's say, that the percentage profit is calculated on selling price, then it becomes a very, very simple question. 14 to 120, 16 to 133.33. There ends the matter. But you have to do this, this part here, the part we have on the left hand, right hand side, so that you can calculate the selling prices easily. And please do not go by the number of steps here. Do not go by the number of steps here. This is a detailed explanation. You don't have to write cost price equals to 100 in the exam. You don't have to write profit equals to 20% of selling price, so 0.2s. You don't have to write s equals to c plus p. You can simply visualize that s is 100 plus 0.2s, so 0.8 is 100. Directly you must come to this step. 0.8 is 100. In this case, directly you must understand that s plus s minus s by 3 equals to 100 okay so remember this 100 is a quantity quantity into price this is quantity into price you understand quantity quantity multiplied by price quantity is also important here right so quantity into cost price, quantity into selling price, quantity into selling price. Now, what is the actual question? He says, find the ratio of selling price of articles sold at 20% profit to the article sold at 33% profit. He's asking us to find the ratio of selling price of the article sold at 20% profit. Selling price of the articles sold at 20% profit to the articles which are sold at. Now, this is the selling price. Selling price of first set and this is the selling price of second set. He's asking us to get this ratio only. Find out the ratio of selling price of articles sold at 20% profit to the ratio of articles sold at 33.33% profit. So 40 into 125 is to 60 into 150. So this is 25 into 5, 25 into 6, this is 20 into 2, 20 into 3. And this again goes 3 times. So 5 is to 9 should be the answer. 5 is to 9 if he is asking us for the overall selling price, total selling price. Again, there could be a case that he is asking us to only take the selling prices, 125 and 150. Then the answer will be 5 is to 6. You understand? He says, what is the ratio of selling price of the article sold at 20% profit? So is he referring to the total price of the article sold at 20% profit or selling price of each article sold at 20% profit? If it is each article, then 125 is the price of each article. 150 is the price of each article. Answer should be 125 is to 150, which is 5 is to 6. But I am assuming it is about total articles. So 14 to 125, 16 to 150. Calculation will lead to 5 is to 9.